Okay, so today we're going to learn about the area of a triangle, which is 11.5 in our textbook. Now, when we're looking um, for the area of a triangle, some of the things we need to keep in mind. The area of a triangle is actually exactly half of the area of a rectangle, and that will give us some clue as to trying to remember what the formula is for the area of a triangle. Now, when we're looking at the area of a rectangle, the formula for that is length times width. Or, in other words, you can look at it as the base of the rectangle times the height of the rectangle. Now, that gives you a clue as to what the formula for the area of a triangle might be. So, for the area of a rectangle, you multiply the, ba the bottom of the rectangle by the height of the rectangle. Um, but because the triangle is half of a rectangle, then we actually have to halve that. So the formula for the area of a triangle is, so I'm just going to put area of a triangle equals, it's actually base times height divided by 2. Because we multiply the base times the height, but if we left it at that, it would actually be the area of the rectangle. So we need to divide it by 2 to get the area of the triangle. Another way of writing this is half base height. And the B and the H next to each other like that just means that you multiply them together. But for our purposes, I would like us to use this formula which is, means the same thing, it's just a bit easier to work out. Base times height divided by 2. Alright, so when we are looking at the base and the height, so what is the base and what is the height? If you think of it like a mountain, um, the bottom of the mountain is like the, the base of the triangle and then you've got the sides of the triangle. Okay, so the base is the bottom. And the height is actually the top of the mountain. All right, so when we're working that out with the triangle, we have to measure it right from the vertex of the uh, triangle opposite the base. So from the vertex down to the base is the height of the triangle. Now we need to make sure that the height is perpendicular to the base. So perpendicular means that it's 90 degrees. So a right angle to the to the base of the triangle. Now if we have a look at the um, diagrams down the bottom here and you can read the notes there that any side of the triangle can be the base but like I said the height must be perpendicular. So you can see on the first triangle here, the base is the left hand side and the height goes from the base to the vertex here. Alright, but the one thing to look out for is that we have the perpendicular symbol. Alright, so it would look like that. So you would have the perpendicular symbol showing that that is the height perpendicular to the base. So at right angles to the base. So the second one here uh, you would have the perpendicular symbol there, so that would give you the idea that this is the height at right angles to the base. Okay, and if this side was the the base, you wanted to call it the base, then this would be the height. So we're going from the vertex down to the base, and you would have the perpendicular symbol there. Okay, so it's really important to remember that as well. When we are doing this, some of the triangles won't actually, you won't actually be able to join the base to the vertex without doing something else. So you need to um, draw dotted lines to represent the height. So you can see this triangle here, um, this way. All right, um, the vertex is here. If you draw a straight line down, at right angles to the base. It won't actually be any part of the triangle. However, what we do is we just draw the dotted lines out from the base and intersecting 
with the vertex and then that would make it perpendicular to the base. Okay, and that is the height you must measure. Okay, let's have a go at some of these examples. So remembering the formula for the area of a triangle. So the area of a triangle equals, whoops, that was an A. A triangle equals base times height divided by 2. Now you must write the formula in every time. You will get extra marks for that. Okay, so make sure you are showing me that you know what the formula is. So the area of a triangle equals base times height divided by 2. Make sure you have your equal signs underneath each other. Okay, so for this one here above us, you can see that this is the base because we have this as the height perpendicular to the base. So the base is 12 centimetres, so we're multiplying 12 by 5. But then we've got to divide that by 2. Don't forget to do that. So it's 12 fives is 60 divided by 2. And that equals 30 centimetres. And because it's area, it's always in square units. Remember we learnt that last time with the area of a rectangle. So make sure when you write the answer, you are writing it in square units. So whether it be centimetres squared, metres squared, kilometres squared, whatever it is. Um, in this next case, it would be millimetres squared. So you need to make sure that you write that as the answer. Okay, area of a triangle equals base times height divided by 2 and in this case we have the base is the 3 millimeters and the height you can see you had to draw the dotted lines out there because the vertex was not um, wouldn't connect with the base um, inside the triangle so we had to draw it outside the triangle okay so We've got the base is 3 millimetres times 2 divided by 2. So that's 6 divided by 2. And 6 divided by 2 is 3 millimetres squared. All right. Hopefully you've got that. I'm going to give you a couple of examples now that for you to do. Okay, now it's your turn to do an activity yourself. I want you to pause the video and see if you can work out the area of one side of this triangular face of the pyramid. So you really only need to find the area of a triangle because you're only wanting to find one side. So just the area of this side in here which means you will multiply the base times the height and divide it by 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So you should have written the area of a triangle equals base times height divided by 2. Alright, now the base is 120 metres. So 120 times then you've got 80, that's the height, divided by 2. 120 multiplied by 80 is 9,600. And you need to divide that by 2, which equals 4,800. meters squared. So remember the answers are always written in square meters when you are finding area. Okay now this next example is a little bit more complicated um, however just using what you know about triangle, tri the area of triangles it's easy to work out it just takes a few more steps. Okay, so in this one, a farmer uses fencing to divide a triangular block of land into two smaller triangles. So you've got this triangular block of land, and it's cut into two smaller triangles, uh, as shown by the dotted line. You need to find the difference in the two areas. So for this one, um, 
you need to find the area of each part of the block of land and then work out the difference by subtracting the total areas between the two. Okay, so pause the video now and see if you can do that yourself. Righty ho, now to make it a bit easier, we're going to call this one area one, and this one area two, then we can divide up our piece of paper into one and two, and we'll work out each of the areas. So we need to work out area one, then we need to work out area two, and take one away from the other to work out the difference between the two areas. Difference means subtract, okay? So, again, area of a triangle equals base times height divided by 2. Alright, so for area 1, the base is 18 and the height is 40. So, we need to do 18 multiplied by 40 which is 720 and divide that by 2 okay so that's 360 and it's meters squared next one area of a triangle base times height divided by 2 Alright, and for area 2, we've got a base of 26 and the height of 40. Divided by 2 again. So 26 times 40, 1040. Divided by 2 equals 520 meters squared. Okay, so you can see here that area 2 is obviously bigger and you can see that quite easily from the diagram as well. So the area 2 is 520 meters squared and area 1 is 360. So we need to take 360 away from 520. Take away 360. That's 160 meters squared. Therefore, using our therefore, it's 160 meters squared is the answer. So the difference between the two areas is 160 square meters. Now hopefully that um, helps you understand a bit more about area of a triangle.